if you ever see anybody eat and smile or give that, that nod of agreement, for me, that's satisfaction. It's one of the greatest things in the world. It's only two universal languages, music and food. Hello, I'm Rodney Scott from Rodney Scott's Whole Hog Barbecue. And today we're going to be doing our chicken herbal recipe from our new book, Rodney Scott's World of Barbecue, Every Day is a Good Day. It's a one pot dish, which basically means it's one pot that kind of covers everything. This is a very popular dish in my area of me growing up. It has so many different varieties and ways and that people cook it. It's a long history from Africa coming over to Charleston. And we all know Charleston, South Carolina is famous for rice. Part of this recipe is gonna be Charleston gold rice. And I appreciate rice. As you can see, I always did appreciate rice. So, are we ready? All right. You wanna take your Dutch oven. First you wanna put it on the stove, some oil enough to coat the bottom. You want to let it heat just a little bit, not much. You want to start to add your vegetables, your celery, green peppers, your onions, and don't forget your garlic. Once you get all these in, you want to saute them. Get some natural juices flowing. Oh man, that smells good. And you always want to make sure and keep a little stir on your vegetables so that they don't stick to the bottom of your pot. You want to keep an eye on your vegetables when they're cooking because you're waiting for them to kind of get a nice soft touch to them. We're almost there. As you can see, the, the onions are starting to become a little bit more translucent. This particular dish was made so many different ways. It's been done usually in this gigantic wash pot, is what they called it. They would build a fire around it and stir it with a wooden handle. So there's a lot of history in this dish. This is an old, old dish. Some folks said it was discovered in Charleston. Some folks said it was discovered in Africa. So many different stories behind it. The spelling is unbelievable. You'll see Perlu, you hear Perlo, you see uh, Perla, Pilia, and it's all spelled in different ways. P-I-L-A, P-I-L-E-A-U, P-E-R-L-O-O. -O. So it's a very regional dish, very old and traditional dish. After about 15 minutes of this sitting in there, you want to add your tomatoes. One important thing to remember, when you're putting in the sweet tomatoes, you want to cook the liquid out of the tomatoes before you add anything else. This, this aroma is amazing. One of the most beautiful things about cooking this dish is it's only one pot. So by the time you cook in this one pot, you serve this dish, you only have to wash one pot. Woo. A couple more minutes on that. One of the most important things I, I always tell people when they're cooking or learning to cook is have fun with it. Our head chef, Paul, always said, if you cook a dish, you serve it with confidence. Be proud of it, be happy about it. Push it out there. Always have fun with it. Turn some music on. Invite people over you like. The people you don't like, you don't invite. <laughs> now that we got our tomatoes all cooked down, all the liquids cooked out of our tomatoes, we want to add our stock. You can add a chicken stock or a pot liquor left over from your greens. After you've added your stock, you want to put in the rib rub. And our rib rub consists of onion powder, paprika, some Jesus tears. The explanation of Jesus tears is in the book, whole chapter. Cayenne pepper, kosher salt, all in that rib rub right there. Give it a little stir. Even though we already have kosher salt in the rub, you still want to add a little bit more salt. Give that a little stir. And you may want to taste it at this point to make sure it's where you want it to be. Satisfy your palate with that perfect flavor. This dish has been done so many different ways in my area where I grew up. There were people that used so many different ingredients, everything from honey to, to extra garlic. Some folks use different proteins. Like in this particular dish, we're using leftover chicken. If you don't have leftover smoked chicken, you can go down to your local grocery store and grab a rotisserie chicken, or you can visit your local barbecue joint, or if you choose to use some pork or uh, shrimp or pigtail. Yes, I said pigtails. They work great, lots of flavor. Once you get your chicken in, 
kind of want to bring it to a boil. Once your pot comes to a boil after adding your chicken stock, we like to add Charleston Gold Rice. Charleston Gold Rice is very important. It came from Africa and almost was on the, the verge of disappearing. Chefs around Charleston got together and they, they went into the history and found this rice and had the opportunity to start growing it all over again. So Charleston Gold Rice is very important to Charleston because of the history of the rice, not to mention the fact that it was almost extinct. We found it, got it back, and now we get to enjoy it. I'm gonna add your rice, give it a stir. Once you're in the middle of uh, letting your onion saute, you also wanna to remember to preheat your oven to 350 degrees because this dish finishes off in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. Once you let the rice kind of cook in and absorb all the juices, then you're ready to serve. Now in this particular situation, we did one earlier. When you're finished, we like to top it off with some scallions, make it look nice and pretty. Yeah. You make it pretty just in case Miss Sugarfoot from next door shows up and want to talk about your food. Yeah. So now that we've added our scallions and we're ready to serve, as you can see, the rice absorbed a lot of the liquid. The chicken's nice and tender. Me, I like color, so just a couple more, not many. You don't want Miss Sugarfoot to talk trash about your food. So now we're ready to serve. We got our scallions, our chicken. You see great bites of chicken, the tomato, celery, the onions. So good. You get the crunchiness of the scallions. You get the flavor from the root rub, the smoked chicken. All those flavors you taste in there. It's, it's kind of like everybody's playing a part, but it's the perfect song. This is a great dish. For the recipe, you can click the link below. And for our smoked chicken, you can come visit us at Rodney Scott's Hog Barbecue in Charleston, South Carolina. We're also in Birmingham, Alabama, and we're soon to arrive in Atlanta, Georgia. Come and see us. Hmm. My mom would be so proud of me eating vegetables.